2011. It was, uh, I came home from Vegas and it was my first time being homeless. And I went to um, Salvation Army in, for, in Pasadena for like a day. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I remember I was in the Salvation Army and I asked some of the dudes in there, I'm like, hey, you guys, I'm like, I'm not here on a court order. I'm here because like I'm homeless and I don't want to be homeless. Should I stay here? And they're like, uh, they're like, hell no. Here's the thing, they knew who I was because it was a bunch of homies and whites and all that kind of stuff. They knew exactly who I was. I didn't know who I was. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, huh? I had no idea. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this shit? And so, so, uh, and so, um, so they're like, yeah, you know, you should go out there and, uh, you should go out there and, and I was asking everybody, I was asking everyone, all the homies in there, you know, I'm like, hey, you guys, what should I do? They're like, you should go out there and like, and like hustle and like make something happen, you know what I mean? So, so I asked this one homie, I'm like, hey, homie, what should I do? I remember I got a brocha haircut. Everyone was like homed out over there. I'd never been to jail, but I always wanted to be like the homies, you know? So I got a fucking brocha, bro. I go to the, I go to the barber, I'm like, shave my head. And I had a beard, I was homeless, you know? I was, I was 24 years old. I had a blue button up all the way up, khaki pants. You know what I mean? Some nice ass shoes. <laughs> I shaved my head. And he's, my beard, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, I want a mustache. He's like, <laughs> I had a big ass, ugly ass brooch. <laughs> He's looking at me, I'm looking at him, I go, no, no, right? He goes, yeah, absolutely not. I'm like, okay. 24 years old. The homie goes, he goes, hey, keep your chin up. I'm like, homie, what should I do? He's like, hey, keep your chin up. I'm like, all right. So I kept my chin up over the years. Now, that's a nice little, uh, that, that goes a long way. That homie, he was, he was you know, he was cool, cool cat. And, I mean, I barely knew him, but, but you know, it goes a long ass way, huh? Here I am telling all the homies, hey, keep your chin up. You know, because they knew who I was back then. The homeless guy seen me, it was my first time being homeless. I go to the park, I leave the Salvation Army, I go to the park. The homeless guy comes up to me. He goes, he goes where's, your, where's your mom and dad at? He goes, what are you doing here? Go home. Knowing full well, I'm not supposed to go home. I'm supposed to be on the street. That's cool, huh? Isn't that such a cool story? Such a cool story. Um, here I am, years later. That was 2011, bro. Here I am, years later. Ready to rock and roll. cool story yeah I guess you guys didn't know huh nobody knew but it's cool it is what it is people who should know know which is good I'm gonna get busy I just wanted to document that I think it's cool it's cool history can't believe this is my life I can't believe this fuck it's insane I'm like so shocked I'm so shocked this is so crazy and I'm sure a lot of you, the rest of you are shocked as well like wow, like I can't wait to talk to you guys like about like the shock. Like what the fuck? Like serious? Man, this came out crazy. I can't I can't wait to like know like how long you guys have known this for. I can't wait to like meet my grandpa's overseas. I can't wait for like all that stuff. I can't wait till all this calms down and like I go on TV and like start talking to you guys about different subjects and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like just I just can't wait, bro. I love all this stuff. 
well, besides the fact that I'm famous as fuck and, and rich as fuck, <laughs> I just love how like there's just so much camaraderie and love and stuff out there waiting to be had. I wish these guys would stand down and join us, but it seems to be a very uh, disgusting uh, organization out there that apparently really likes kids and poverty and oppression and corruption. They don't seem to want to give up. They seem to think they have a chance, but they don't. I don't get it. it doesn't make any sense. I'm just saying, it doesn't make no sense. What are you guys doing? I have one from Palm Springs I saved. 